I know you're all going to take a tour. This is absolutely one of the most significant historic buildings that Polk County has done up to date. You're going to have really, uh, really awesome time when you tour this. So thank you for meeting us at this historic Polk County Courthouse. As you can see, there's still a lot more work to be done, but we wanted to give you a glimpse of what has been taking place over this renovation project. When this is all complete later this year, it will be a true gem for all of Polk County to be proud of. A lot of work, as you can see, has gone into this process of renovating this beautiful building to its historic nature. And from the start, our priority has always to retain and enhance all of the gorgeous historic aspects of this building. I remember early in the demolition phase of this project, the architects, they showed us pictures of what they were uncovering which you will be able to see shortly. It's just amazing to think that at one time people thought it was a good idea to cover up the intricate scroll work, the paintings, the stained glass, the ceiling, and so much more. I am beyond thrilled to uncover these treasures and bring them to new life. However, this project was not just about beautifying our court buildings. You'll hear from the sheriff and Judge Hubbard about how this renovation will streamline the needs of Polk County's judicial system finally into the 21st century. This building was opened in 1906, and over the years, the wear and tear of the building really took its toll. As Polk County grew, the courthouse was no longer sustainable for a community of our size. The original courthouse had only six rooms, by 2019, the same building had 29 courtrooms. Some of the changes today have included a dedicated and comfortable jury assembly room for those serving on a jury, new clerk, a payment and information schedulers, 17 courtrooms of various sizes based on need, all with the most high-tech telecommunications and security upgrades that were so desperately needed. In just a little while, you will be able to get a chance to look around and the architects from OPN will point out some new of the interesting facts that were covered up over the years and only just now uncovered for everyone to appreciate. And we cover three buildings. This is the historic courthouse, what we uh, know as the historic courthouse to us. We have the Justice Center, which is the building just to the north of us. Uh, some of you may have grown up as it being the J.C. Penney's building. So we, uh, we sometimes refer, some of us older folks, but we move a lot of inmates through here, and they were talking about the, uh, the uh, security. Um, at one point in time, we had to bring the inmates out to interact with the public. A thousand, thousand court trips, roughly a month uh, before COVID. So we're moving a lot of folks through here. Now it's a little bit safer, and we don't have to do that. We can keep them away from the public, and everybody knows that uh, a lot of court uh, becomes emotional for the people involved, the witnesses, as well as the, as the, uh, the victims and, and the uh, inmates that are in that. And our job here is to keep all those safe. It's a project that uh, has had its beginnings decades ago. Uh, my predecessor, uh, then Chief Judge Art Gamble, uh, it was a priority of his to uh, figure out how to have our court space accommodate a growing population and a growing need for for court space. Uh, you will remember, I was surprised when I looked this up this morning and get ready for today, it was back in 2008, I didn't think it was that long ago, 2008 that we uh, attempted a bond issue for a, a new standalone courthouse that would have encompassed all court operations in one location, just basically where the Cherry Street lot is now. Uh, the voters uh, gave their opinion on that, it wasn't, it wasn't positive if you remember. But what we learned from that process, in addition to the uh, citizenry's uh, desire that a little less money be spent, one of the things that we learned was that the public really wanted to maintain this building as a functioning court facility, not as a museum, not as some sort of um, you know, remote uh, or, or detached facility. And uh, the county heard that message adopted it along with the other uh, uh, parts of the need for growth, and you see the results of that commitment in this building now.